What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 49 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us the coordinates of the three vertices of a triangle and asks us to find the midpoint of the longest side of that triangle. The biggest skill that this is testing is midpoint, and we'll go over how to find that. But for now, I'm going to get out my graph, which actually has the vertices of this triangle already graphed on it. So here's my triangle. I have my three vertices, 1, 4, 3, 4, and 3, 6. And now if I'm looking for my longest side, then I can kind of count here. That's 2, that's 2. Well, if this one's horizontal and this one's vertical, that makes a right triangle. And this would have to be the hypotenuse, so this one is the longest. And notice I didn't use any um, math to figure that out besides just remembering my knowledge of right triangles and remembering that the hypotenuse is always the longest side. So now I know the longest side and I need to find the midpoint. So the idea of midpoint is that I measure my horizontal distance and my vertical distance. Basically find what the between uh, line would be for each of these and figure out where those lines intersect. So if from this point to this point I go two squares up then that means that the middle of that two squares would be just one square. And now if from this point to this point I went two squares to the right, the middle line there, so to speak, would be just one square right in between them. Now these, uh, cur or these squiggly lines represent my middles. Going one square, which is half of two squares, going one square, which is half of two squares. And that actually puts me right on the line which I was expecting otherwise I wouldn't have I would know I didn't find my midpoint correctly and that puts me right here now I can go ahead and find this point using coordinates or I can just look at my numbers and say that from my X's that's one and three so my X value of this point has to be the number that's right between one and three which is two and then my Y's I had four and six so I'm gonna try to think of the number between four and six directly between which is five if I zoom this out now, my x is 1, 2. My y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So whether by trying to find the point on the graph or by thinking about what number comes right between 1 and 3 and what number comes right between 4 and 6, I got 2, 5 as my coordinates. So now I look back at my answer choices. Answer C matches all the work I did. Answer is 2, 5, choice C.